Welcome to Classic Valley Investors and Microcap Explosions. This is the third video in the series of why I hate the miners. In this video, I am fe featuring Arcana. Today, Arcana is called Arcana Silver Corporation, but back then it was called Arcana. It is a fabulous story um, of a turnaround uh, that the stock went from four dollars in 2009 to about 40 by October 2012 and today it is only 98 percent lower it is trading at about 78 cents and it was a story of a company with two assets uh, La Negra which was a silver mine in Mexico and Shafter, which was a silver uh, mine in Texas. And the story was that the new CEO came in, turned around the company and made La Negra from a losing money operation to a cash cow. And it was increasing production. And when it was going to put its second mine, Shafter, into production, the company was going to go from producing about a million, million five silver equivalent ounces per year to six million becoming a mid-tier producer. So I don't want to say anything at this point. Let's just have a look at some videos and I will say more later. I took over as president of the company in May 19th of 2009. Right. Uh, the company was, uh, well, not performing as uh, the board expected, so they appointed me as uh, the president, and uh, it's been a turnaround situation, uh, cleaning up of all our operations. We have uh, dismissed the prior operator, um, started operating all the mine ourselves, finally fulfilling the promise of increasing the Productions, which you see is now the fact, and, uh, and turning our money losing proposition into a money producing mine. Yes, you hear the man. He took over uh, the company uh, when it was not performing well for the investors. Um, he came in, he rolled his sleeves up, and um, he turned it into a money making operation that's very, very good for. Uh, for investors and definitely very good uh, going forward. It's one of the most efficient mines uh, that I've ever visited. They are highly profitable. They are uh, very, very efficient in terms of lowering costs, in terms of increasing efficiency from other standpoints. So I'm impressed. The staff uh, of, uh, of La Negra and you know, the, the technical team involved with with Arcana, in, in my opinion, is really second to none. I mean, led by Ron Nichols, it's just a, it's a very, very highly qualified team of individuals. For the last uh, 20 months, we've been operating on a profitability basis. It's now a cash cow for the company, uh, cash flowing over a million dollars per month to Arcana. Arcana Corporation is a silver producer with one mine operating in Mexico that we acquired from Peñoles at the time was one of their main mines and another mine, the Shafter Silver Mine in Texas which is the second largest silver mine in the US, 14th largest in the world and that we are trying to put into production early next year. Well the Shafter Pure Silver Mine, if it was in operation today, it would be the 12th largest pure silver mine in the world. Uh, once we put into operation, it's going to increase the U.S. silver production by 10%, and it should catapult the U.S. from the eighth silver producer in the world to the sixth largest silver producer. So it is a, indeed a very significant asset for Canada, for Texas, and for the U.S. Who wouldn't like that? Okay, Arcana's shafter would increase the U.S. production by 10%. How wonderful is this? Not only are you making money for shareholders, but you are catapulting US into a higher position as a global silver producer. 
We are expecting to put into production by the middle of 2012. It's so significant an asset uh, for Arcana that it will increase 10% uh, silver production in the U.S. Orcana has all its documentation in place. Their 43-101 compliant report demonstrates over 20 million ounces of silver measured and indicated and another 22 million inferred. This gives them enough silver for a five-year mine life with potential to upgrade significantly. What gets me excited is this mine doesn't know it's not in Mexico. It doesn't know it's in the U.S. It doesn't know that the Rio Grande is 10 miles that way. This is part of the CRD belt, Carbonate Replacement Deposit Belt of Mexico, which is the backbone of the Mexican underground lead zinc silver mining business. And the aspects and the attributes of what we see in these outcrops around here are exactly the same things that you see in the fringes of those systems in Mexico, which suggests that there is potentially a lot more to this system. The infrastructure is all here. Orcana has completed a full feasibility study and is moving forward on final permitting. With both the Shafter and La Negra mines in operation, Orcana plans to produce a total of 5 million ounces of silver in each of their first two years of operation at a cash cost of just $7.60 per ounce. Capital cost is estimated at $45 million, providing payback in less than two years, using the three-year average price of silver at just $15.50 per ounce, even though today silver is trading over $35 an ounce. The exciting thing about this is that um, it's a low-risk project. It's a project which you can encompass easily in, in your head. As a project manager, I live by risk. So when you look at the risk points in this project, they're, they're, they're very few, very minor. We have some very competent people in the, in the company, uh, very strong miners. Uh, we, we feel confident we can do this, even though we've just a few years ago translated from being an exploration company to being a producer. Orcana's Shafter project is the story of a well-understood resource, a near-term project with a low-risk profile and robust economics. Add to that a proven management team and you've got a primary silver producer ready to go. We'll start next year by becoming a mid-tier silver producer. Okay, so you guys uh, have closed a private placement. Participants include people like Fidelity, Sprott, etc. Some very, very uh, influential, to lack, to, for lack of better terms, people. Uh, you're raising somewhere north of, or you have closed, I should say, so on somewhere north of $80 million, okay? So basically, the private placement, which closed this past week, uh, is, is number one, has put your company, Arcana, and your company, for those of you who are shareholders, really, I mean, it's, it's the market cap of the company, the future of the company in terms of asset size, in terms of existing production and potential production. Yeah, you, you can't get any better than that. Oh, it will put us as, uh, for certain, a mid-tier silver producer uh, by, by the mid of 2012. Okay, so that's, uh, that will allow us perhaps to have a much better multiple than what we currently have. And at uh, the expected silver production of 5 million ounces per year, plus the credits at La Negra, uh, we'll be producing about 6.5 million silver equivalent ounces, and our canna should be cash flowing well north of $100 million cash flow at that time. Okay, so there you have it. Our canna with two properties, one cash flowing, the other one going into production. Uh, Arcana is on its way of becoming a mid-tier silver, silver producer uh, with the production profile of about six, six and a half million ounces of gold at a cost of less than eight dollars. So, you know, at that point, uh, silver was 25 minus eight times six million, um, over hundred million dollars of profits. As he said in, in, in the last uh, clip, um, the Orcana would be generating uh, that kind of money. And six million was not, I, and I didn't show you in this video, it was not the end of it. He was, in, in other interviews even, when I talked to him on the phone, he was talking 10 million. But hey, you know, six million is great. So at that time, 
you know, I saw the market cap go from, you know, 200 million to 500 million. But let's say at, uh, you know, 200, uh, 200 million, when you hear 100 million of profits, it's got to be worth at least, you know, 1.5 billion, right? So there is a huge upside from the 200 level or even from 500 level. And you have, uh, you know, as the management team said, Shafter, very low risk, uh, fantastic management team. People like Sprott uh, are backing it, right? Because they did the private placement. The company has the money to put it into production. What can possibly go wrong? Okay, so let's start with Shaftner. Uh, by December of 2012, uh, they did put Shafter into commercial production. Uh, however, by December 2013, they shut it down and then they put it on care and maintenance. Why? Uh, oops, uh, that low risk uh, silver project uh, turned out to be not so. Um, the feasibility study, uh, I'm going to read it to you, the feasibility study showed inconsistency between tons and grade. So in other words, what the feasibility study was telling them uh, turned out to be not true. So they couldn't make any money and they were losing money and they had to shut it down. But before they shut it down in December of 2013, they needed more money, right? Because at, at that point, people didn't really understand what was going on. So they raised $50 million of debt. And you know how I feel about that, right? Sometime in May, in May of 2013, uh, they released how much La Negra has in the ground, okay? And it was about 170 million silver ounces in the ground or silver equivalent so let's call it for simplicity 200 million right so i remember it was like wow they have 200 million ounces of silver in the ground that's gonna last forever that's fantastic then but then by december of 2014 they uh, revised that estimate and you want to guess what they revised it to from about 200 million to 20 million, okay? It's like almost 180 million of silver ounces just disappeared from the ground. <laughs> I kid you not. But eventually you might think, well, eventually they got this thing working and, you know, La Negra was producing. Uh, they, they just raised the 50 million uh, to, uh, to, you know, to to put it into Schaffner so that you know some of these little problems can be resolved and eventually Schaffner was put into production. Are you kidding me? No, the price of silver was collapsing during that time. Uh, La Negra wasn't making as much money as it was making before. Schaffner was on care and maintenance and guess what? the $50 million debt was coming due. And guess what happened? The lender came in, they had to restructure it, and the lender ended up taking La Negra from Arcana to satisfy that $50 million loan. Because at that point, when they were taking the $50 million loan, of course, shareholders didn't want to get diluted. So $50 million raise was a non-dilutive financing that a uh, few months or a few years later killed them down the road. Well, not necessarily killed them, but what ended up being is that the $50 million loan was erased, the lender took La Negra, and Arcana was left with the only asset, which was Schaffner. And the investor relations guy told me that I should be happy that they only took La Negra and uh, left us with Shafter. Yay! So what was supposed to become a mid-tier producer going from about 1 million or 1.5 million of silver production per year 
to 6 and then later hopefully to 10 it went from um, you know that number to 0 so this is just a third video you might think this is it no 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 I am just warming up for you here there is a lot of other opportunities that were so fantastic and turned out to be uh, down 98% from its high so thanks for watching this video I hope you're just getting more and more excited about the mining sector. If you're an idiot, please invest in the mining sector. If you're not an idiot, you might want to consider Microcap Explosions, which is a private membership website that doesn't really include any miners.